My name is Annie. I'm a digital marketer and I'm also the host of the Aspiring CMO podcast. With running different projects and traveling around the world, I still had time to start a podcast show and run everything by myself, promote it on social media. And this method, I really hope that you can make your podcasting journey a lot smoother and more organized. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to set up your Notion page for podcasting to run your show smoothly, to reach out to guests very effectively, and do every single part of the podcasting by yourself as a little bit of a side hustle. Okay, let's get into the screen share. Here we are at Notion and once you sign up, you can just create many pages and today we're going to start the page from scratch. So I'm going to call this the podcast calendar. You can add an icon and then maybe have like a headphone over here and you can customize the cover so it can look really pretty. You could also kind of upload your banner. All right, so this is my Notion page now. And what you can do is to use the forward slash. I, I just want to teach you guys from scratch, right? You can, the logic here is that you want to create a table like an Excel sheet, but you can view it differently. Let me just show you how. So the forward slash database is going to be an inline database and you can change it to the full width of your thing. And let's say a podcast guest and these tags could be the status. So once you probably reach out to people, you can choose to, let's say you want to do the outreach first, which means, oh, I'm thinking to invite her on the show or invite him on the show, but I haven't done anything yet. From the outreach is like invite or, and once you're invited someone, they're gonna pick a schedule, interview schedule, I like to say that. And after once the interview is scheduled, you are going to edit the video or the audio, right? So you can say to edit, you're gonna do promotion. Like you're gonna promote the episode, right? To keep the, everything on track. When are you gonna interview Annie? Let's say you're gonna interview Annie next week. These people don't have interview scheduled yet. So basically, I just wanna show you guys that you can actually pick the time and you can decide another date, which is the public date. The publication date for, for example, Annie, if I interview her next week, maybe her publication is the 7th of September. The, these are the date settings. And on top of it, you could say, um, did I do a blog post? So this could be like a yes or no tick box. So the way you do is like edit property, you click on type and you'll find checkbox. So let's say Annie is, uh, let's give, give another person, let's say Peter. Peter is already published and Peter's publication date was, let's say today, today I published Peter's episode. So you can ch check like if you have a website, then did you turn it into a blog post yet? You can say yes or no. So let's say you have a lot of people already and you just want to see, view the same set of data with different views. And for me, it's really nice if I have multiple deadlines, if you have, if you want to batch content based on the interviews, based on their promotion materials, and you can see it as a board. And Notion automatically uses the steps that we just created. Sometimes it mixes up though. So you want to move them. Outreach is always step number one. I want to interview John, but I haven't reached out to him yet. I already sent him the invite. Then the interview is scheduled, it's promoted. And it's quite nice on Notion. You can could decide to maybe color the columns color columns and you could also say the card size could be small or larger so now you have a lot of colors so this is one way to view your podcast guests is on the status of their podcasting my other way of looking at guests is the deadline which is kind of nice because you can see based on calendar view which is kind of looks like your google calendar if you think like that and you can choose between you want to see the interview date or you want to see the publication date. I want to see both. So let's just rename this into interview view. And if you want to see the deadline view, so this is how you say show calendar by the publication date. So that's when you see the deadline. But you could see that if you, the deadline that I just said, Annie, James, John, Hansi for the whole September. So uh, other hack for creating podcast episode is to actually create a template. So what happens is that once you create a podcast, right, you want to do episode show notes, you want to ask people questions, you want to reach out by email, publish it on maybe YouTube, your podcasting host, and do a lot, a lot of things. These templates are basically going to repeat for every single guest. And all you have to do is that you don't no longer have to take notes and restart the same document, but just press a button. So we're just kind of going to create that template. It's going to be your working sheet. So I yes, say podcast. Okay, here, um, you can actually make it bigger and you can say it's full width. 
And for a podcast interview, what do I need to do? I, you can do headings. No, H1 looks better, I think. At least those show notes. And what I like to do is that once I write the show notes, I also have chapters and you can write the chapters here. And lastly, one thing I like to do is promoting my guests, of course, as a podcaster myself. And I would say connect with the name. And you get small emojis as well. Or if you want to use just emojis, you could just do like like this, podcast, like this. So you could also use symbols like that. I actually prefer symbols. And I want to promote myself. So that's kind of nice because I see some creators also promote themselves on their own podcast. So I would say connect with, that's my, the name of my podcast. And I would just link all my social media stuff. I also like to do checklists. What happens is that I tend to forget what I have to do for each episode. I would make a checklist like, hey, I need to do episode intros. I need to do, I don't know, thumbnails. And what you can do, you can actually create columns. So you can drag the whole thing, move it up and put it on the side. So basically, while you are editing your episode show notes, you can see the checklist that you have to do. So yeah, this check is important because you always want to keep things so consistent and you don't want to feel like you are burning out by forgetting a lot of things because you already put the checklist down. So once you're done with an episode, all you have to do like, oh, did I do episode intro? Did I write down my favorite quotes? Did I, you know, announce it on Facebook and LinkedIn? And lastly, what I like to do is do another section which is interview invite and one cool thing i would like to show you guys is using ai so i think you can use this and then ask ai to write please write a short outreach email to invite potential guests to the aspiring cmo podcast it would be an uh, online interview conduct what let's see what ai has to say Boom. Now AI wrote you an outreach email and what you need to do is kind of just put the guest name here and you can use it. Obviously you can tweak it as you like, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to go, go ahead and tweak stuff. You could maybe write another heading. So what are the questions you want to ask your guests? Honestly, out of 20 people that I asked so far, two of them wanted questions in advance. So I don't think that it's really needed, but just in case, you know, so now that it's done, you're going to go back and let's start this over, right? So let's say I want to do an outreach for james the stuff that we just wrote oh my god it just disappeared but it's not the template is right here it's called podcast interview and i click on it and it automatically generates the interviews and the interview invite and everything else right this saves a lot of time for me and what you can also do for yourself to save time is to add more properties into james other properties i used to add is the email email is important so let's say james's email james at i don't know.com and you can kind of collect their the email address here one other property i like to use is the url so that could be the finished episode once the episode is up you can put it here this is my podcast calendar and one cool thing i like about notion is kind of it acts like trello so you can kind of drag people as well if you're not in table views so this is my actual podcast calendar you guys see that i have a lot of things going on and honestly if i just see it as a table it would seem very 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 overwhelming because i've already reached out or thought about or like planned at least 55 people this past three months so the amount of data i have is a lot i also have show title on my actual podcasting template so i like to just view things by status so right now i have to do a lot of introductions in order to edit them so yeah i've got a lot of homework to do oh yeah i also have said no category so i don't reach out to those people again and one also like to see is the interview view so today is the 24th of august as of now and i have no interviews i know that you could use google calendar and i am using google calendar which is like linked to my calendly but it's just to keep everything in place so i don't have to jump between applications that is all okay guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you would like to get this exact template that i just showed you guys then click on the link description below or let me know how this tutorial helped you and how did it help your podcasting process i'm using riverside fm to record everything i highly recommend you to use that too because i've been testing it out for at least a dozen of interviews and the quality of those mm, they are so good the quality of these videos are super super good so much better than zoom or other stuff i try to use it's a smooth video editor and video recorder platform so i highly recommend that thank you so much for watching catch me on the next episode on the aspiring cmo podcast see you later bye